Welcome back to Max's Garage from Hall. We just got in a little item I just purchased. And I think I purchased this Thursday or Friday, which would have been like the 8th, something like that. And it came in, it's fulfilled by Amazon. And uh, I've already cut it open, so I don't have to stop and do that for you. And we're going to get it out here and take a look at it. This is a. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to say this right or not. I'm going to let y'all read that. F-O-X-P-E-E-D. Yeah, that's what it says. It says it's a jump starter, power pack, and uh, you need no more tow service. Jump start and go. Okay. Uh, it's supposed to be good for automobile, mobile phone, camera, motorcycle recreation machines um, it's got an EC looks like EC3 or EC5 we'll know here in a minute we open it up plug the jumper cable into the battery pack connect the jumper clamps to the car battery red is positive black is negative hit the start start the car by turning on the ignition key after the car has been started remove the plug from the battery pack and remove the clamps from the car battery all right Multifunctional jump starter. It says jump start a car up to 20 times per charge. Well, that'd be pretty good. It is a power bank, charge any USB device like a mobile phone, tablet, digital camera, etc. Safety jumper cable optional accessory, reverse polarity protection, short circuit protection, reverse charging protection, low voltage protection, overheat protection. I wonder if that works in a forest fire. Hmm. Let's don't find out. Uh, it's a LED flashlight, torchlight mode, SOS mode, and strobe mode. We all know what strobe mode is for. That's to disable an attacker. All right, warranty. As with all electrical products, most prudent users stress a genuine warranty. Products with a longer warranty will be the winner. We offer 12 months warranty and 24-7 friendly customer service. Let's open it up with the old trusty case knife here. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. It is a plastic handle. All right, and this is not a, I guess it's not a case commercial. I shouldn't even name it here. But case got a plug anyway, right? All right. Let me uh, lower this just a little bit so y'all can see that I'm cutting this open. Should be all the way around, maybe. Let's see. Did that work? No, not quite. All right, let me get in here this way. You know, I didn't mean this to be such a long unboxing. Gosh, I figured I'd just pop that thing right open. So I'm going to pull that tab out. Pull that up. And looky here. It's got some pretty red stuff right there on top. So here we go. It's got get the box over here out of the way. It comes in a really nice little case. A little semi-hard case. And it says right on it. I don't know that the Fox did or not, but it says it did right here. F-O-X-P-E-E-D. Okay, let's see what's in the box, boys and girls. We're gonna unzip it. Alrighty, it's got a bunch of pretty stuff here. Okay, it's got a thanks for choosing G29 Jump Starter. We'd love to hear from your honest experience with our product. Well, they should never ask Max about the honest opinion because we're going to abuse this puppy just like I told you. If I ever do buy one, I'll, I'll uh, abuse these people's stuff. So you guys just sit back and watch. <laughs> Now I'm not doing it to tear it up, I'm just doing it to make sure that these people's uh, claims are as good as they say they are. Because that's what I'm buying this thing for, it's a couple things. I bought it to see if it's as good as it says it is. Another reason why I bought it was to uh, 
to let you guys know if it's as good as they say it is. And besides that, I do need one of these once in a while. A really good friend of mine told me about this. And uh, he knows that I burn up my charger. Okay, so it has EC5 connector here. And the reason why it says it's uh, not going to be able to change polarity is because it's round on this side and it's flat on this side. That's, um, there you go. That's a good way to, uh, to keep that thing from being turned the wrong direction here, which is pretty neat. And, uh, boy, I think they hid that sucker from me. Look here. <laughs> I'm going to have to read the instructions, see how to plug the thing in. How about that? Probably goes right here. Probably goes right behind this little thing right here. Can you see that? Boy, I'll tell you what, camera, you're going to have to start doing a better job than this. Robotics, I'll tell you. Yeah, buddy, look here. Right in there. Okay, so you're going to take the flat, put it to the flat, and it says it has 84%. All right, that's good. Now then, let's take this humongous charger here that came with it. Look at the size of this thing. Okay. And uh, let's plug it in. It also comes with a uh, charger that you can plug stuff into your... Let's see here. Alright. This is DC output, so now we can run something that has a cigarette lighter plug type deal on it. Or you can use it for in out on a. Here you go, I've got one over here. Let me grab it. This is the same plug that my phone charges with, so I can actually plug that sucker into this. I can plug my phone in and out over there, but for the time being, come on, there you go, let's see, maybe I should open it up for you, alright, and let's see, turn it on, and it says it is charging right there get up here up in this far corner where it says 82 percent that's what it's doing it's charging this this battery from this battery that which only has 84 percent charge all right now i can also do this a different way if i've got a c type cable that's c type on both ends then I can plug it in over here as well, like that. And I can plug this in to maybe a computer or a tablet or something like that and run a tablet off of it. That wouldn't be a bad deal. So that's a good thing. So far, I like all the, uh, all the various connectors because that's going to make it a, a pretty good little power bank. And... Uh, it also should make a good little starter jumper. And let's see if we can see the size of the wire in there. It looks like it's probably, looks like it may be a 12 gauge. I don't know if I can get it where you can see in there or not. I barely could see it and I was here in person. There we go. Right back in there right in there looks like it's a 12 gauge and it's got a silicone cover over it so that wire is going to be good for a long long time it's very flexible so now then as promised let's plug her in and see if she's going to want to charge so i'm going to plug this into the wall over here then i'm going to run a longer cord let's try maybe this right here Okay, 
Got that plugged in there. And now we're going to come over here and plug this into the C type and see if that's going to charge it. And as you can see, it is charging. All right. So now it is 5.21 p.m. We'll come out here in about an hour. We'll take a look again and we'll see how much this thing is charged up from that little charger through this cable. And this cable is a really good cable. I probably should use the own little cable over here. But it's not long enough to go from there to over here where you can see it. So anyway. Alright. That's all we can do right now. But it's 84% right now. And um, we'll come back and take a look at it in a little bit. And just see if we've gained any ground. So thank you for staying put. We'll be back shortly. Okay. Here we are. It is now. By the way, a stop made supper. So in some places that's dinner. Quarter till seven. It's also the same date. This is Monday, the 12th of October, 2020. So, let's see where she's at now. She is at 100%. Let me see if I can unplug it or maybe extend that cord. Try to get a little closer for you. I keep that cord tied up so it's just long enough to get over to plug the phone in or something else when I'm charging. So let's see. All right. 100%. It's pretty good, huh? That was in, what, an hour and 15 minutes? And I've been out here five or six minutes trying to get this thing ready to, to check. So, Oh, and it is plugged into the little tiny charger. So it's a little more powerful than I thought it was. I'll have to give it credit for that. So I'm going to show you some features of this thing real quick. I'm going to point it directly into the camera. All right, so there's the flashlight. And you know, I could, if I had a cameraman here, I could have him turn off the light, but I don't. So there's that. Also has an SOS feature. S. O. S. S O S. Okay, and it also has a strobe feature. Pretty neat, huh? All right, so on the side, it has um, DC output right there. I'll <laughs> get my phone over there. All right, it has DC output, has the Type C uh, USB type plug for phones and this, that, and whatever else has got them. And um, again, I showed you this earlier. You can plug this into here, and that'll give you a battery um, for like your. Uh, we'll turn it off. Okay. So uh, let's. I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and set up. I'm going to pull the battery cables off of a. Uh, off of a lawnmower in there and we're going to see if we can start that thing directly off this without a battery I don't foresee that happening but it'll be interesting to see if we can so let's give it a shot even if I crank it it doesn't necessarily have to start because I don't have the muffler on and the building's closed so I don't really need all that extra gas in here or um, fumes so I'm just going to take it in here set up the camera everything ready to go and I may wait until tomorrow to do it because it's already getting late and there's a couple of things I was supposed to do this evening so anyway um, but we will come back and we will show you whether or not this thing will spin a motor over without a battery so if it'll spin it without a battery it should jump it let's give it a shot okay so here we are we're going to take the connector open up the little hidden panel here it says engine start on it hmm. that sort of gives that away doesn't it 
plug that puppy in right there. And it has a little light on it here that goes around around little dots. If you can see they're not. Okay, so I've got the negative terminal loose. I'm going to put this sucker on here like this and put this on here like this somehow. Just the can. Maybe like that. Alright. Now if one of y'all reach down there and get that ignition switch key and uh, turn that for me we'll know here in a second how much power that little battery has in it. Maybe a whole lot more than we think. So let's see what happens. Hey dudes. I don't know about you guys. I am thoroughly impressed. Thoroughly impressed. Now I'm covered up with uh, exhaust gas here. But let's go back into the other room. Set up the camera and I'll give you my overall thoughts on this thing okay my first thought on this was it's probably an oversell it's probably something that's not really going to do the job and even though I did not doubt my dear friend and fellow youtuber Mr. Doug Creamer and thank you Doug for turning me on this because um, maybe I won't need the battery charger as often as I used to and uh, it comes in this again pretty nice little deal here I mean it's it's well presented well packaged um, this thing probably weighs let's see how much we used here and that's nothing it didn't hardly use anything at all it didn't even didn't even drop off the 100% so I'll tell you what I'm going to go ahead and give this temporarily a thumbs up now I'm going to use it some more and I'll put it in some videos down the road and we'll come back and we will address it again and see what we think about it at a later date because at this point in time um, you did see it start that engine without a battery connected. To me, I am impressed. Uh, I've tried that before with some other jumpers and uh, I'm not going to say where I bought them from. Sam's might have been something like that. But anyway, uh, it was I think $139 and it didn't, it wouldn't start an engine. It wouldn't hold a charge and I hauled it around for two months I think in the pickup toolbox and I got ready to use it and it didn't have as much charge in it as the dead battery and it had never been used. Uh, now it did some things also. It had flashlight. It had an air pump in it. Um, it had a little longer jumper cables on it. And it, like I said, it was $139. And I had another one years ago that I purchased and it was also the same. It basically was junk. It had an air compressor. It had um, four or five little tools in it. And it really, really was junk. I don't think it was even three weeks before I needed it. Charged it fully. And um, went to jump the same pickup that I was driving it around in, and it wouldn't start the little pickup. I'd gotten into a large parking deck, nose in, in a corner. Couldn't get into it to jump it. Couldn't back it up because the parking deck owner wouldn't allow us to move the truck back. It really was something else. So a, a gentleman was really nice, him and his wife, late at night after a concert, they pulled the battery off of their vehicle and <laughs> loaned it to me to start my truck to back it out and then turn around and back it back in, pull the battery off of that vehicle, put it back on theirs. They jumped me. We came home. Now, that's two for three of these mobile or jumper systems that wouldn't work. They wouldn't start my vehicle. When I got home, charged them back up. I pulled the cable off, tried to start it, would not start it. All right, this thing was $79.95 with free shipping from Amazon. And it's actually sold by Foxpeed. I don't know if I said that right.
But anyway, try yourself one. See what you think. Let me know in the comments down below. And let me know uh, what you'd like to see down the road. We've got a bunch of things coming up. And hopefully we'll get them done. <laughs> so we appreciate you guys stopping by Max's Garage Mahal, as we always do. And uh, please share. Be sure to hit that like button down there. And if you had not already, please subscribe. We'd, uh, we'd like to have you guys on board with us all the time. And uh, we'd like you to hit that like button so uh, and that uh, little bell down there so you'll get notified when we have new videos coming out. So we appreciate you once again. And here at Max's Garage Mahal, y'all come back and see us now, you hear?